Satahim Maku Harasha Af Somali. Welcome back again today, guys. Today we're going to be talking about another Somali king or sultan. And we're going to be talking about today, Osman Muhammad. Osman Muhammad was the king or sultan of the Marjuntine Sultanate from 1860 to 1927. Islam was very important to the sultan and the kingdom at this time. During his rule, many agreements amongst European countries were signed. Many surrounding sultanates also signed with European countries as well. Very few sultanates in the area actually stayed independent from treaties with Europeans. The British, during their voyages, would crash on the banks of the Margentine Sultanate. In return for protection and not getting looted, the British would pay the Sultan annually for protection. This protection would offer the British crew safe passage. This would stay an unofficial agreement due to the British not wanting other European countries to offer the Sultanate treaties as well. Mohammed and his rival Yusuf Ali would sign treaties with the Italians. Signing these treaties were strategic moves by both sides to outdo one another. Expansion was the name of the game, and most kingdoms in the area tried to further their territory. Muhammad also wanted to make sure that this treaty would help his sultan stay independent. This was sort of like a tug of war to do business with the Europeans and to also make treaties with them, but to also make sure that the sultanate was independent for its own rule. So the relationship between the Italians and the Sultanates, especially Sultan Mohammed, was very interesting because the Sultan continued to rule and control his area while the Italians had somewhat rule over the economics and trade in the area. So within the Sultanate, it seems that the Sultan made the rules but around the Sultanate and to some extent, the economics of the Sultanate was dictated by the Italians. The Sultanate would receive also guns from the Italians and they would receive a type of payment from the Italians. So it was almost like both sides were playing each other or trying to play each other or trying to get the higher leverage. The Italians were trying to find a strategic area in that area amongst all the different sultans and sultanates and they were doing multiple deals between sultanates and sultans and also they were trying to plant their foot down within Somalia and they were playing politics amongst other Somali sultans with each other and they were also playing politics within themselves and also with other European powers in the area like the British and then on the sultanate side you had different sultanates which didn't agree with any European powers being in the area and they rejected them. And then you had other sultanates that saw it as a way to advance over other kingdoms around them, but also to make sure that they weren't overran by a power that they saw as a threat down the road. So it's just very interesting how they sort of kind of intertwined with economics and the Italians for some time period was in control, you could say, over certain economical uh, parameters within the Somali Sultanate. And also, at some point, the Italians tried to make it a little bit more of a enticing deal by sending out other Italian ambassadors to promote for the Sultanate and for Sultan Mohammed. Please like the video, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you get all my videos. Add me on all social medias, which is Africa Network. And until next time, peace, one love.